Hello, 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 welcome to Firearms of America and today we have this winter jacket review from Camel Crown. The link is in the description below if you want to check it out. It doesn't really have a model number or any specific you know, name associated with it. It's just a Camel Crown mountain snow waterproof ski jacket detachable hood. There's just, it's just a long name without any particular model number. But, but, to give you a brief overview of what I'm gonna talk about, I am definitely happy with this jacket. It was my number one choice for my Tennessee special that I recently did. Uh, probably have not uploaded it yet because there's a lot of work associated with it. Uh, it is definitely warm, it is waterproof, it is windproof. Yes, it is true to the size and it is fairly affordable because currently, in this light, uh, light color, uh, light gray um, small is $79.99 so under 100 bucks definitely budget friendly all right so let's get into the actual review as some of you guys already know this review is specifically for my ultimate survival jacket section and uh, this one's particular would be the winter jacket because you know it's it's warm it has all of the you know insulation and all of that uh, so how are we gonna you know, make our judgment whether it's a good winter jacket or not for your ultimate survival. Well, we're gonna judge that by eight different criteria. Criteria number one is the comfort level. All right, so I am very happy with the comfort level of this jacket. It's definitely very comfortable. It feels really good. The, uh, you know, the, the fleece inside feels really nice to the touch, very comfortable. Overall, it is fairly light, so whenever you put it on, it doesn't add anything to the weight. Now, this one, I was actually hiking on top of one of the mountains in Smoky Mountains, and uh, the hike was about two hours long, one way, and uh, did it fairly well uh, without any problems. Wearing this jacket, it was about 30 degrees outside, so it wasn't that cold, but but nevertheless, all I was wearing was a t-shirt and this jacket and you know, I was perfectly fine. So, uh, comfort level wise, definitely, definitely good. Now, let's talk about a little bit about the criteria number two, the flexibility of the material. And here, uh, obviously because this is a winter jacket, so don't expect much <laughs> flexibility. Obviously, it's not flexible at all, but we can still mention the restriction of the movement. And with this jacket, Compared to other jackets, actually, I was very happy whenever it comes to the restriction of the movement because it does not restrict your movement as much as other jackets do. It does give you enough of room inside to move around. You know, if you want to move around your arm, if you have to grab something from the top shelf of the cabinet, I don't know, if before you leave your house in this jacket. Definitely good. It's not going to restrict that movement. Okay, so... Number three, really quickly, the durability and quality. Now, currently, this jacket has more than 600 reviews on Amazon, and they are mostly five stars. Uh, the rating is almost five stars on this jacket, so people do like it, and I can see why. It is very durable. Now, the only thing here I wanted to mention is, if you are buying this jacket, if you want it to last for, you know, longer, if you, if you are planning to keep it for, you know, a while, get yourself a different color, you know, because this color, uh, it gets dirty pretty quickly. I mean, obviously, because it's so bright. Uh, on the plus side, however, if you do want to kind of camouflage yourself in the winter and be kind of blend in with the, you know, if you're getting it for hunting, for example, might be pretty good because in the snow, obviously light colors would do a better job. But just, just, just an advice, you know, because you, you, you can see already marks here and there <laughs> on this jacket that I got from simply just hiking and, you know, accidentally touching it with dirty hands and stuff like that. Okay, so let's talk about the number four, criteria number four, the features. So here, let's talk a little bit about the pockets. First of all, we have a front pocket, which is nice. I used it to carry my firearm in here. Fits my P238 perfectly in there. Uh, of course, we have two big pockets here on both sides, which are, yes, they, they, they do have a, a zipper. 
And then we also do have another jacket, which is also, you can close it with the zipper here on the side. Uh, on this side, we do have another jacket, but this one is actually held with the Velcro. So something quickly accessible, I guess, uh, and not important because if you run in this jacket, it'll probably fall out. You can put in there. Uh, it is. It does have the wind proofing uh, lining here. As you can see, and you do get uh, these things right here that tighten up. And I think I actually just ruined something. Anyway, if you are getting this jacket, be careful with this because apparently they tear very easily. I did not have to use them on my trip because it wasn't windy, but it is capable to be windproof to tighten here as well as on the sleeves because you do get this Velcro, which you can tighten to kind of protect you from the wind. Now, one thing I wanted to mention about the sleeves is that they do have uh, this nice little glove area that you can have, you know, kind of gives you more protection from the wind and also adds to worms to, you know, keep your hands warm. Uh, now, let's talk a little bit about the hoodie. It is removable, as you can see on the zipper. Nothing crazy over here. And then, of course, you do have uh, the same wind protection. Again, be careful with it. I actually used this one without any problems, but as you can see, the other one broke. Now, the top cover, it does close with the zipper. And the zipper is actually a nice quality. I do like it. It's double, uh, so you can open it from both sides. You know, that's what you want. Uh, but the quality of the zipper itself is pretty good. And uh, it's, it's a very important thing to mention because a lot of times with the, you know, Chinese products, they here and there, they, they do a, a good product, but then they use cheap materials here and there. And zipper happens to be one of them. And, and here, luckily, it's not a problem. And then you have three buttons, two here on the top to hold it nicely in place. And then one on the bottom and then in the middle you have regular Velcro to close it up. Okay, so enough with the features. Let's talk about the criteria number five, the balance of application. Obviously, this is a winter jacket, uh, so you would want to use it in, you know, colder temperatures. Uh, for your ultimate survival, obviously, if you live in the areas where it does get cold, where you know you have an actual winter and actual summer not like here in florida for example where it's most of the times hot there's really no point of having a winter jacket over here but in the areas where you do have different weather cold weather hot weather obviously you need to have for your survival situation a good winter jacket and of course a good summer jacket as well you know some ju just 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 a cover to kind of give you, you know, extra pockets and extra protection here and there. So, of course, you know, whenever it talks to the balance of application, I think this is a pretty good option. Uh, a little bit be careful with the durability. As you can see, I had a problem doing this review, of course, right? Didn't have any problems climbing up the mountain with this jacket, but during the review, well, it's a different story. <laughs> Number six, really quickly, is the sizing. Like I said, this is the size small. I kind of wish that they had size extra small to kind of, because I like the fitted fit. Yeah, uh, but but still, size small. I I get my stuff, the you know top my t-shirts, whatever in size small, and this is in size small, and it does fit perfectly. So it's not like. It's not like a lot of those, you know, Chinese products that you get that say that you have to buy XL to be an American size small. You know, that's not the case. Here, the size small is size small. So, they, no problems with the sizing. Now, quickly, number seven, the temperature. Like I said, I have tested this jacket in uh, about 30 degrees. So, it wasn't really that cold to... Although, whenever I went up the mountain, it was actually pretty windy and it was pretty cold. Uh, probably closer to 20s but like I said I was only wearing a t-shirt underneath this jacket uh, and it was performing very well I mean I at some point I was even overheating whenever I was climbing up because you know you exert the energy you work and yeah 
Makes sense, but uh, but yeah, whenever it comes to the colder temperatures, no problems at all. And I will put the some specifications in the description below, uh, just to give you a brief overview if you want to see the numbers. Now, number eight criterion, really quickly, is the price. Like I said, this jacket is very nice. Whenever it comes to the price, it's very affordable. It's only seventy nine ninety nine currently on Amazon in this color. You could probably find it. A little bit cheaper too if you're getting it in a different color honestly uh, so far this is my personal choice I will just be careful with it and also I will probably end up replacing the color because like I said if you want this jacket to last you a while uh, get yourself a darker color you know they have quite a lot of different color variations they have a black dark blue different darker gray variations some darker green variations so they do have different colors this is the lightest color that they have and i mean it gets dirty very quickly although because it is waterproof you can wash it off and brush it off but honestly who has time for that right anyways <laughs> let me know guys what you think in the comments below what do you think about this jacket would you consider this for your ultimate survival uh situations or would you consider this for your you know regular hiking like i did uh let me know in the comments below if you found this review useful please hit the like button please subscribe that definitely helps still a growing channel this was firearms of america and i'll see you guys in the next video